Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's question might hit close to home, literally. Have you recently upgraded your internet service? Maybe you switched providers for a better deal, or finally ditched cable for the sweet embrace of fiber. Fantastic choices. But here's the thing. When your internet changes, what about your UMA service? Don't worry, it's not like you have to start from scratch. Thankfully, connecting your UMA to a new internet connection is a breeze. Now, before we dive in, let's rewind a bit. UMA uses your internet connection to make calls. Pretty cool, right? So, when your internet changes, UMA needs a heads up to connect to the new network. That's what this video is all about, a smooth transition for your UMA calls. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get to the fun part, connecting your UMA to your new internet. Now, depending on your setup, there might be a slight difference in the process. But don't worry, we'll cover both the most common scenarios. Connecting directly to your new router and connecting through an existing modem. Scenario 1. Connecting UMA directly to your new router. This is the most straightforward setup. If you have a new router that handles both internet and phone functions like a combo unit, you can connect your UMA directly to it. Here's what you need to do. Power down party. First things first, turn off your Umatello or Premier device, as well as your new router. Safety first. Cable connections. Grab that trusty Ethernet cable, the one that looks like a fat phone cord with a fancy clip on each end. Now, connect one end of the cable to the Internet port on your UMA device. Easy enough, right? On the other end, plug it into one of the available Ethernet ports on the back of your new router. Power up. Once everything's securely connected, plug in the power adapters for both your UMA device and your router. Let UMA do its magic. While your devices are powering on, UMA will automatically detect the new internet connection. In most cases, you shouldn't need to do anything extra. But if you're feeling a little tech savvy, you can always access your UMA online settings. We'll get to that in a bit to double check everything. Scenario 2. Connecting UMA through an existing modem. Maybe your new internet service uses a separate modem and router. No problem. Here's how to connect your UMA in this setup. Power down party again. Just like before, turn off your UMA device, modem, and router. Safety first, always. Cable connections, round two. All right, grab that ethernet cable again. Connect one end of the cable to the internet port on your UMA device. Now, for the other end, things get a little different. Plug it into the available Ethernet port on your modem, not the router. Connecting the router, here's where your second Ethernet cable comes in. Hopefully, you have one. Connect one end of this cable to an Ethernet port on your router. For the other end, find a free Ethernet port on your modem, usually labeled LAN or something similar. Power up sequence. Now, with all the cables securely connected, here's the power up order. First, Plug in the modem, then your router, and finally your UMA device. Give them a few minutes to boot up completely. UMA magic continued just like in the first scenario. UMA will automatically detect the internet connection through your modem. You shouldn't need to do anything further in most cases. But as always, you can access your UMA online settings for additional verification. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Congratulations. You've successfully connected your UMA to your new internet connection. Now, let's make sure everything's working smoothly. Pick up your phone connected to your UMA base station and listen for that familiar dial tone. Sweet sound of success, right? Now, try placing a call to a friend or family member. Crystal clear audio? Awesome! While not strictly necessary, it's a good idea to update your UMA settings with your new address. This ensures you get the best possible call quality and emergency response services. You can do this by logging in to your UMA online account. It's a quick and easy process. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy connecting.